So this is called the Early Warnings Framework, and it was developed by a set of future consulting uh, folks called the Futures Group. They're based up in Connecticut. Um, and they basically came to an interesting um, uh, realization. So if you look at the signs that something is important, something matters, this is, it's not noise, it's signal, right? That the signal strength has a very classic pattern. For a while, it's just very, very noisy. And then it gets stronger and stronger. Often, this is the inflection point that you see. It gets stronger and stronger until you get to this point here where you have facts. Right? You can. Uh, this is uh, this is just this is just time. So this is just the strength of a signal over time. Um, I guess you could call it signal strength. So that's the black line. Uh, now here's here you have facts. You can take pictures. You can do interviews. Everybody knows what it is. We're all talking about it. What's the problem? too late. Because you have an inverse line, right? You've got what I call degrees of strategic freedom. So the critical thing here is here, just as you said, there's a lot of noise in the data. You, you would be a fool to move that early, right? Wait till here, though, and it's too late. The thing has passed you by, the opportunity's gone, everybody sees it, everybody knows it, no longer differentiating. So the critical challenge for leaders is how do I push my decision making back enough that I'm in this period of what the military guys would call optimal warning. So I think that's the first big idea, not too early, it's very easy to, oh my God, I gotta get me some of that AI stuff. Or whoa, blockchain. I need to have, I need to, I need to get a consultant to teach me about blockchain. Early, early. Get your strategy fixed first, then worry about the shiny objects. It's too early yet. Blockchain is maturing as a technology, but the institutional infrastructure necessary to do anything with it is still incredibly early. But you don't wanna wait till here, too late. So here's the process. Um, you articulate what I call a time zero event, where a time zero event is something we can all agree would have a big impact on our business. So let me give an example. I was working with a company that sells annuities. Um, and annuities, as you know, you put in money today and it pays you off over time. And one of the big issues they've got with their business model is this particular company sold annuities through brokers. And there has, interestingly enough, emerged a market where annuities, for example, a stranger-owned life insurance, are starting to be sold on markets. In other words, a broker's not selling them. They're being traded on a market as a new asset class, which if you're a, a company that, sell, that makes your living selling through brokers, that's kind of a, a big deal. So we picked as their time zero event, 50% of all business in that category is on the market, is a market-based transaction, not a broker transaction. That was their event. That moment in time when that happens, we would identify as something that's a big deal for our business. So what we did then was we said, okay, before that could be true, what must we be able to observe six months before? So T minus six. What must we be able to observe at say T minus 18? What must we be able to observe at T minus 24? And so on. And then what we did was we created a mental model of each of these indicators, if you will, of this event becoming more likely. And the more of these that pile up, the higher your confidence can be that this thing is in the process of happening. 